Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here and I guarantee you these videos will help you craft packs and make millions of coins without any effort at all. If you can drop a like and if you can drop a comment, it makes a massive difference. And every, every video we hit 15 comments, we'll add money to our cash pot. If you're wondering what that cash pot is, on stream every single day, there are chances for people to play games on the stream to add to that cash pot. At the end of every stream, there's a duck race. We have a race on the stream. And whoever wins that gets entered into the end of month giveaway to win whatever is in that pot. So if you want to get involved, click the link down below, come over to stream. I will be live as this video is live, okay? Uh, final thing, check out Foot Trading. If you want to support our content, you want to get involved in trading, grinding, everything you see in these videos is on the website but with the prices, the teams, everything you need attached to them. Check the website out. I guarantee you, you will never look back. But um, the 81 plus double came out yesterday. Um, do I think it's the best upgrade for those who that are pack stacking? Um, arguably not, because it is one of those SBCs that you've got to put a bit more effort into. When you get like, I don't know, the 81 plus picks, for example, or the 80 plus picks, you need six gold, it's, it's much more chill. However, the thing about this is it's probably the best upgrade pack we do get out of these sort of Monday upgrade packs. It's an 81 plus double. You've probably got more chance to get something from this than you do from, say, a pick uh, when it comes to team of the year. So how do you stack these up? Now, the 81 plus double is coming in at about 6k, just short of 6k to do, okay? Which is not bad value when you think about it. However, the Mixed League upgrade comes in at about 10k to do, give or take. Now, if you do it my way, I'm about to show you, you can do it for about 8 to 9k. So for a couple of k more, 2, 3k more, you're getting yourself a small rare gold players pack, this silver pack no one really cares about, fine, a gold pack, a premium gold pack and a premium mixed players pack. You're getting all of that for basically 3k more-ish. Okay, so how do we compete this cheap? I'm going to give you guys pure detail today. As, detail, as much detail as I possibly can, okay? First one we're going to look at is the Libertadores, okay? Now, all you need to know for this one is you need at least six from the same team. It's a 60 rated. It's very easy to do. All you do to compete this SBC for free, and actually it's technically to make some profit on it, is to bid, Okay. Now, I've gone and used this team here. Um, what Mon Monegas, is it? I believe it's called, yeah, Monegas, Monegas. This is not the best team to use, but I'm using it as an example for you today. I'll explain why there are better teams to use in a second. But, as you can see, we picked up everything at discard price, okay? So, at a maximum of 250 for the silvers, uh, and then a maximum of 150 for the bronzes. We picked up, I think, 33 of them, maybe slightly more. There's a couple here that aren't going to be able to go in, so we'll just get rid of those quickly. Uh, but you can see they're easy to win, really, really easy to win. Now, you're not going to make astronomical amount of coins from these cards. All your plan to do is now, though, is to keep six of these cards, to so keep six of them that make up a 60 rated. Now, ideally, you just use bronzes, it's fine. But the funny thing is, bronzes actually sell better. Bronzes sell better than the silvers do, because when people complete the Libertadora section of that SBC, all they do is search 200 coins and just go and buy them up. So these guys will actually sell easier than perhaps the silvers might, okay? But for the for the purpose of the, of the SPC, use the bronzes to, to complete it. All you then do, I've already got six in the club that I bought earlier on. All you then do is assign all of these and list them up on mass, okay? You can see it's duplicate central, which we expect. Now you've got a choice. You can just list them up for 50 coins more than you paid, fine, fantastic. Or you can try and get maybe 350, 400 coins. There are SBC, like people that will buy them at that price and you will sell quite a few. Um, just depends on how much effort you want to put in, I guess. That's the best way of putting it. But, basic maths. You need to keep six of these players and you use the six bronzes. It gets you 150, basically. You pay 900 coins for six players. If you then have 30 players and you get 50 coins for each of those players at 30 you're looking at about 1,500 coins back, okay? Now you've got to take a little bit off the tax, but 500 coins profit, give or take. That's it. That's all you've got to do. At this point now, I mean, I'm gonna go 350 because I know they will sell uh, bit by bit by bit. All you do at this point here is just list absolutely everything up. And ideally you list them all up together because what you want to happen is them to all end at a very similar time. So that anybody that goes and searches Mon Monegas, for example, with Argus, just sees these cards, all their mass listed at 350, and they just pay 350 for them because it's easier than searching to get them cheaper, okay? Now, at 300, they'll sell. At 350, you might have a few that don't sell. Um, but it gives you even more profit and all of this. 
Now, what I will say, um, let me just list up a few more of these. I'll list the rest of them up after the video. I'd use it better to list them all together, but I'm not too stressed for the purposes of the video. There are better teams to use. Now, I put them on the website and they're going to go on the website, but some of these teams, they're very, very bronze and low rated silver heavy. But every now and then, some of these teams have got a 70 rated, a 71, a 72 that has a lot more value and you can sneak some of those through on bid. Once you get to know those clubs, you'll be able to go, okay, cool. I know, for example, Melga, I believe it is, has Bernardo Cuesta, I think his name is. Um, he's a 74 rated player who sells for like 2K. I've just bought one for 1,200. Um, but this is Bernardo Cuesta here. He's the only real expensive player from this team uh, because he's important for the premium mixed league. But every now and then you'll be able to, let's say you use this team as your option. It's probably not the best choice, but there are there. You'll be able to sneak him through. Now, if you know that Bernardo Cuesta sells for 2,000 coins, for example, 1,800 coins, you can bid up on him and get him maybe for 1,000, 1,100 coins, list him up for a very good amount of profit. One Bernardo Cuesta pays for most of the tip players that you just bought for your um, SBC. And there are teams that have that. There's a lot of teams that do that. So that's how you get Libertadores done, basically, and you're making profit while you're doing it. You then obviously open up the Libertadores pack because you split the Libertadores. Obviously, you need five other players from any other random teams. You can go and get those in the exact same way that I've just done it there. Uh, but most of you will have Libertadores cards in your club already. Um, but the Libertadores here, you go and do this one, and then you go and sell everything from the small prime silver players pack, okay? Um, and that gets you back. So let's say at the end of Libertadores, you're 4K up. I don't know, 3K, 4K up means you can go and attack the Bundesliga and Serie, uh, Bundesliga, Serie B and Bundesliga 2. Do the exact same thing. Now, where this becomes better is there are certain common silvers from the Serie B and Bundesliga 2 that sell for four, 500 coins. So once you go to know those cards, you can just go and throw bids on, I don't know, four of them. So you might buy four of the same player, put them on bids, you'll keep one of them, then sell the other ones for 350, 400 coins and make really high profit from it, like big, big coins. Um, from competing this SPC and then from this SPC you're going to get yourself a gold pack which you're going to open up and you're going to sell everything from it again now the only things you might want to keep in these are things that can complete these SPCs here but these two SPCs here and this SPC here should be relatively easy to make good profit from as you're doing it so not only are you crafting these packs you're making coins back which is very very nice indeed then you get to the League 2 of the League of Hypermotion and the pack, the premium gold pack here is untradeable. But that's going to give you a minimum of three players back. A minimum. Usually it's a bit more. You get four or five. But minimum of three. All the profit you've made from these here ideally then ends up in the MLS and the EFL Championship. Now the cheapest ways to do these two SBCs tend to be the League 2, for example, has a few higher rated golds that are discard price. Bid on two or three of those uh, and get them into the team. You don't want to worry about the rares. They just need to be common golds. The MLS and the EFL Championship have a couple of high... Because you need six rares here, bear in mind. A couple of really high-rated cards. So you've got the likes of Chiellini. You've got the likes of Ndidi, who's common, but it's fine. You've got the likes of those guys to really whack the rating up. And then what you want to rely upon using for the rares for these SBCs are the bronzes. The bronze rares are the cheapest rares, of course. So if you can get them at 150 coins... It's going to massively reduce the cost of this SBC. It gets it down to 8k, 9k easily, like absolutely easily. So you can just bang those into there basically, and that's going to give you everything you need. Now, at the end of that, you're going to get a premium gold pack untradeable. You're going to get a prime mixed players pack untradeable, which is going to give you a premium, sorry, mixed players pack. It's going to give you four gold cards there. And the end pack of this SBC is going to be a small, rare gold players pack. Now, that guarantees you six. The premium guarantees you 4, which is 11, and the premium gold guarantees you 3, which is 13. That is enough for you to go and complete an 81 plus upgrade for free. You would have completed this SBC for free. You go and complete that SBC for free. And if you get lucky enough from these two packs here, let's say from the premium gold pack, you do get yourself 5 or 6 players. And let's say from the premium mixed players pack, you get yourself to 4 players, okay? If over the course of 4 or 5 runs of this SBC... You end up getting a few extra players. You can start to think about maybe keeping one of these small rare gold players back by for the team of the year, for the promo. And you can just hold on to those instead. And it's a really, really simplistic way to get some packs into your club for basically no cost at all. Now, I know some of you guys are going to prefer to do the premium mix league and whatever. But this is really for those of you guys that don't want to have to sit and grind league SPC for too much but want upgrade packs. And I would argue the 81 plus doubles are very, very nice for team of the year. They're very good upgrade packs to do. Um, and you might be able to get yourself 20, 30 of these packs relatively easily without any real effort at all. 
Um, that's how I go about crafting these. Really, really simple, really, really easy. And again, for an extra, what works out to be, I'd say three to 4K, you're gonna get yourself five extra packs. And that's five extra packs to potentially pack some of these fire and ice cards or fodder, or whatever it is that you wanna throw into a club. Remember that, as you're doing this, you might not be opening the 81 plus bubble, but you're opening up five other packs that can possibly give you something really, really good from them. That's it. That's how to do it. If you want the full guide with the teams and the players and whatever, I'm updating it today to put it onto the website. So check that out, whatever you do. It is an awesome, awesome way to make the most of this game. It really, really is. As I say, I'm live on Twitch directly as this video goes live. So if you want to come over, come over get involved, the link is down below. Have a chance to help add to the cash pot and then join the giveaways to enter it. Hopefully, then end of month, one of you guys is going to make a nice 40, 50, 60 quid just to say thank you for watching and supporting the streams and videos. 15 comments boost the cash pot, so make sure you make it happen. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.